somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today I'm very excited because we are starting off an entirely new Oof. franchise for us, taking a look at The Incredibles. This one's from 2004. First time watch for me. Uh, the only thing I know is that it's kind of a, a family of superheroes. Uh, there might be a handful of memes out there. Oak would probably know better than me. Other than that, I'm looking forward to it. I saw bits and pieces of it once while babysitting. I do know the voice of the main superhero, which I am definitely ready, willing, and able for you guys to absolutely love and enjoy, because to me, I thought it was a perfect choice. Uh, yeah, other than, you know, just random stuff you see online as far as pop culture, the red suits, I have not uh, seen this film at all. I don't really know anything about it other than, like Mason Quinn said, it's a family of uh, superheroes, so I'm pretty, uh, pretty pumped up for this one. All right, without further ado, let's go! Seven. That's fine. Of course I have a sacred identity. I would want to go shopping as Elastigirl, you know what I mean? Super ladies, they're always trying to tell you their oh, secret well. identity. <laughs> Sam Jackson. <laughs> Sometimes I think I just like the simple life, you know? Settle down, are you kidding? I'm at the top of my game. Leave the saving of the world to the men? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> it's not. Here we go. Oh, I, dude, I, I, don't look at me. I got no idea. No, I know besides, besides Sam give me, Jackson. Give me like another five minutes. Okay. Police and armed gunman is underway traveling northbound on San Pablo Avenue. <laughs> oh, <laughs> got the tech. <laughs> Some spy stuff. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the gloves. <laughs> <laughs> What is it, ma'am? My cat Squeaker won't come down. I suggest you stand clear. There could be trouble. No, no, he's quite tame. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I <laughs> hear, I suppose. Go now. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. You've done it again. Yeah, you're the best. No, I'm just here to help. We have a tour bus <laughs> robbery into the tour bus robbery. Ready for takeoff. What the? Who are you supposed to be? You're that kid from the fan club. Bro, Brody. But buddy. Is that? Buddy. I'm your number one fan. This feels a lot like Hal from Megamind, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, uh, dude, it's going to sound oh, kind of like uh, a. Uh, he was a coach in a sitcom. Coach Hayden Fox. Ah. Uh, yeah, okay. Hey, look. Oh. No, it's all right. I've got him. Sure you've got him. <laughs> <laughs> A simple thank you will suffice. Thanks, but I don't need any help. Wait, the lady got me first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you need to be more flexible. Are you doing anything later? I have a previous engagement. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> He's in Lerv. He's in Lerv. Hey, Frodo! Shouldn't you be getting ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. They showed oh. a guy jumping. Uh-oh. Oh, who's our villain gonna be? Look at this guy. <laughs> See, I have these rocket boots. Go They're home, me. buddy. Well, I finally figured out who I am. I am your ward. Well, not every superhero has powers, you know. You can be super without them. Batman. <laughs> Stop! There's a bomb! <laughs> Gotta pull the old, uh, the Spider Man. The old Toby? <laughs> uh, or, yeah, or Superman from, uh, can't remember which Christopher Reeves one that was. Uh oh. Uh, well, 
we saw what happened in the latest Mission Impossible when that happened. <laughs> Take this one home and make sure his mom knows what he's been doing. What about Bon Voyage? Any other night, I'd go after him myself, but I've really got to go. Hey, is the night still young? You're very late. How do I look? Will you have this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? You're late. When you asked me if uh, I was doing anything later, I didn't realize you'd sense. actually forgotten. I pronounce this couple husband and wife. Oh, so yeah. they were already a thing before yeah. that yeah. As little long interaction. As we both shall live, no matter what happens. We're superheroes. What could happen? <laughs> it finally happened. We received from Mr. Incredible's actions, so called, causes him daily pain. Five days later, another suit was filed by the victims of the L train accident. Time for their secret identity to become their only identity. Time for them to join us or go away. They don't like soups? Mm -mm. The supers would be granted amnesty from responsibility for the promise to never again resume hero work. You're denying my claim. Norma Wilcox, W-I-L-C-O-X, on the third floor. I also do not advise you to fill out and file a WS-24754. I know you're upset. Pretend to be upset. <laughs> <laughs> you authorized payment on the Walker policy? Tell me how you're keeping insurecare in the black with you writing checks to every Harry Hardluck and Sally Sob story. It's inconceivable. inconceivable. <laughs> <laughs> you fell for one of the classic blunders! I appreciate you coming down here, Mrs. Parr. Has Dash done something wrong? Uh, he's a disruptive influence. <laughs> <laughs> I hit a camera. Yeah, and this time I've got him. You see? Oh, you don't see it? I don't know how he does it, he, but, but, but there's no tack on my stool before he moves. This little rat is guilty! Jeez! <laughs> <laughs> Little rat. <laughs> you can see it on his smug little face. Guilty, I say guilty. <laughs> <laughs> we need to find a better outlet. Maybe I could. You'd let me go out for sports. Promise I'll slow up. I'll only be the best by a tiny bit. <laughs> Dashel. <laughs> To the coffee shop with a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got some slam poetry to do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he told you, you I used to have a sweater huh? just like that. Oh, did you? Oh, so she can turn invisible. Come on, Violet! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I think that one, that shot right there oh, look is at, a meme. Yeah, look yeah, look yeah. at this cool little car. <laughs> of course it doesn't turn off. <laughs> you have something you want to tell your father about school? Uh, um. They caught you on tape and you still got away with it? Whoa. <laughs> so, how about you, Vi? How was school? Nothing to report. Honey? Kids, listen to your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Stop coming in the house. No, 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 no. You, you sit down. <laughs> Simon J. Palladino, longtime advocate of superhero rights, is missing. Delicious. Hey, Speedo. Hey, Helen. I'll be back later. Hey, where are you two going? It's Wednesday. Bowling night. Good night, kids. <laughs> the old bowling night. We're still gonna discuss it. I'm not the only kid who's been sent to the office, you know. It's perfectly normal. Normal? For you. What do you know about normal? The only normal one is Jack Jack, and he's not even toilet trained. The <laughs> 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 lucky. 2356. What is that? Robbery? This is just sad. Yeah. Sire. We're close. Yeah, baby. Good one. Get caught. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that everybody? Yeah, that's everyone. Look this out. I can't lay down and lay thick enough. I thought you could use the water in the air. There is no water in this air. They're just sitting there uh. fighting inside. <laughs> Stay right by my tail. It's gonna get hot. Uh-oh. Oh, good. Oh no. No. 
You look like a bad guy. Get on top of this bad guy. Just getting a drink. Free. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, even got a shot off, too. We are not doing that again. Verify you want to switch targets. This is the one he's been looking for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she knows. Yeah. It was just a little workout. <laughs> <laughs> was coming down anyway. I, what? It, <sighs> Uprooting our family again. Living the glory days is better than acting like they didn't happen. Yes, but this, our family, is what's happening now, Bob. I will not be made the enemy here. You know why we can't do that. It's not about you! We're just having a discussion. Pretty loud discussion. Yeah. We should all be in bed. Oh, the old brushing off the hand off his shoulder. It's not Jodie Foster, is it? Mr. Huff would like to talk to you in his office. Hmm. Sit down, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not happy, Bob. Why are you unhappy? Your customers' inexplicable knowledge of InsuraCare's inner working. We shouldn't help our customers? The law requires that I answer no. <laughs> <laughs> Cogs have jewel movements. Cogs that fit. You know what I mean by cooperative cogs? Bob? Look at me when I'm talking to you, Par! That man out there. We're discussing your <laughs> He is getting mugged. Well, let's hope we don't cover him. I'll be right back. <laughs> right now, or you're fired! Get over here. Oh, oh. This guy's pushing it. Oh. <laughs> he got away. Good thing, too. You were this close to losing your... Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> it's like Shane McMahon going through the glass. Oh, oh yeah, oh. that wasn't just one wall. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Full body cast and a neck brace. I'm fired, all right. Oh, you think? What can I say, Rick? We gotta pay to keep the company quiet. We gotta pay damages. Every time it gets harder. Money, 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 money. Appreciate what you did in the old days, but those days are over. <laughs> Still has the dent on it, nice. But what are you waiting for? I don't know, something amazing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Something amazing, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Look at all the memorabilia. Mm -hmm. Suit. Oh. oh, still? Oh, no. Match. Mr. Incredible. My name is Mirage. We have something in common. Neither of us exist. I represent a top secret division of the government. Need of your unique abilities. It's TV trying to watch. Because of its highly sensitive nature, well, this mission is not going to triple your current annual salary. Hey, Call oh, the number hey. on the card. <laughs> <laughs> Big money. Big money. Or you can listen to police scanners. You have 24 hours to respond. Think about it. Well, he needs the money. Now that he's oh, not yeah, lost his job, just he that, needs the yeah. money, but I think he needs it more for himself. Yep. That's the glory. Look at what he's looking at. Yep. I really hope we get in here just once. Hey, you guys are the real heroes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the real heroes. This message will self-destruct. <laughs> 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 Oh, they got a sprinkler system in their house? <laughs> I know you must be a hero and, and your job is frustrating. You mean was frustrating. What? The company is sending me to a conference. A conference? They're finally recognizing your talents. You're moving up. <laughs> yes. Honey. Oh. This is Mr. Incredible. I'm in. The Omnidroid 9000 is a top-secret prototype battle robot. It got smart enough to wonder why it had to take orders. We lost control. You want me to shut it down without completely destroying it? You are Mr. Incredible. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, you know, a few years have gone by. Every moment you spend fighting it only increases its knowledge of how to beat you. Great. Thanks. A learning computer. I forget deja vu. Oh, did they yeah. predict the future with the AI or what here? Yeah. What, what year was this? You said 04. Oh, wow, 20 years ago. <laughs> 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 that's, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, got him. Jesus, man. Chuck and Bull. <laughs> oh, got him. Got, one. got them uh, Doc Ock arms on yeah. that thing. Give me the old suplex. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, I thought I was going to give the thumbs up. Ah, I thought he was done. I thought that battle was over. That's real not good right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Felt good. It's like getting a ring dinger. Whoops. Uh, ah, one of them animatronic birds. Let's bring him back. Sound the all clear. The mask. <laughs> the mask. Ooh, look at that. A lava fountain. Am I overdressed? Actually, you look rather dashing. Actually, actually. our this table. <laughs> Sorry, he won't be dining with us tonight. I do usually make it a point to know who I'm working for. Why live? With a volcano, he's attracted to power. It's a weakness we share. Seems a bit unstable. Everything at the table was grown right here. Everything's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, That's he's got it. his old mojo yeah, back. He's in a good oh, mood. Chasing the wifey around. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to feel like it was old self again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, some training. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Just benching a train. A rail car. <laughs> oh, everything's going so good. 36? Oh, 36 inch waist. All right. He's putting in the work. Not yeah. Bad. From, from a 50? Go, go check the electric fence or something. My God, you've gotten fat. Come <laughs> <here>. <laughs> ah, is that supposed to be uh, like an old split window 63 Corvette right there? I believe it is. I a surprise to get your call. E, I just need a pass job. What have you been doing, Robert? Must have happened a long time ago. I see. This is a hobo suit, darling. <laughs> 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 Don't allow it. I think her bangs have made memes. Mm. You need a new suit. Not much is certain. A new suit? It's impossible. I'm far too busy, so ask me now before I again become sane. <laughs> <laughs> It will be bold, dramatic, yeah. heroic. Oh, the cape and the boots. No capes. Do you remember Thunderhead? November 15th, the 50A. His cape snagged on a missile. Rattle Gale. Cape caught in a jet turbine. Oh. Uh, yeah. I only need a patch job for sentimental reasons. I will also fix the hobo suit. Hello? Oh, being suspicious. Finding hairs. Oh, welcome to the phones. I'll leave tomorrow morning. Who was that, honey? Short notice, but you know, uh, duty calls. <laughs> oh, looks like a stingray. Mm. Or a manta ray. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> manta <ray. laughs> Eating shrimp. <laughs> Going 78 degrees in no mana sand. <laughs> Underwater, that is. Of course. It's like every good James Bond villain. 
You'll be briefed on your next assignment in the conference room at two. What is she vacuuming up in there? It sounds like marbles. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Oh boy. I'd like to speak to Edna, please. E? This is Helen. Elastic girl. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one person Bob would trust to patch a super suit, and that's you. Marvelous, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling about Bob's suit. Come in one hour, darling. I insist, okay? okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even listening. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you come in one hour. Oh, red and black pops pretty good. Oh, come on. You got to sit at the head of the table. It's a trap. <laughs> oh, look who's back. It's bigger. You, you know, I went through quite a few supers to get it worthy to fight you. It wasn't good enough. Jason Lee. I'd be yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Buddy. My name is not Buddy. Uh, look who's back. I only wanted to help. And what did you say to me? Fly home, buddy. I work alone. Can't count on anyone, especially your heroes. I'm sorry. See? Now you respect me. I invented weapons. And when I unleash it, look at Oh. Mm. Oh. You super <gasps> I'm Syndrome. Your nemesis in it. Syndrome is what he calls himself. Try this one on for size, big boy. Oh no. Uh. Oh, that's the guy who was missing. Gazer okay, Mount. Kronos. Uh oh. Incredible terminated. This project has completely confiscated my life. Edna Mode. And guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually ingenious yeah. to say and guess because if someone would yeah. make you do that. I started with the base. Started sh The fabric is comfortable for sensitive skin. Don't you so. <laughs> 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 and it's Jack Jack doesn't have any powers. No. Boys suit are designed to withstand enormous friction. Your daughter's suit was tricky. Dirty material that will disappear completely as she does. Your suit can stretch as far as you can without injuring. Virtually indestructible. Just <laughs> <laughs> rockets rock at it giving you the precise global location of the wearer at the touch of a button. Bob is retired. Mm. Yeah, not really. Hero work behind my back? Well, I assumed you knew men at Robert's age are often unstable. Unstable. <laughs> 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 Do you know where he is? Nope. They give us an exact age of how old he's supposed to be here. Mm. I don't know if they hit on it. <laughs> Fix that. <laughs> Fix that dent. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> a 90 mile an hour coconut <laughs> at least oh is there on that lava <laughs> the heads from Easter Island <laughs> he just <laughs> casually <laughs> puts it back Oh, it better oh. hurry. Oh, oh no. Move faster than that. Oh, 
Oh, hello. This is Helen Parr. Bob Parr is my husband. Mm. Mr. Parr no longer works at InsurCare. What do you mean? He's on a business trip. Say his employment was terminated almost two months ago. Uh, oh, whoops. Oh, take out all the soups. Mm -hmm. So you don't know where he is. Would you like to find out? Mm, boy. Oh, oh no, she paged him right in the middle of that thing. What are these things? Well, that's an interesting way to take down somebody with Mm. Answer um, was it the was it the original Hulk or the one with Ed Norton where they sprayed him with the foam to try to capture him? Well, uh, original. Well, you know where he is. Go confront the problem. Fight. Make sure Dash does his homework. Just a little trouble with Daddy. You mean Dad's in trouble? Either he's in trouble, or he's going to be. I Both. am the danger. I am the danger. He is rusty. Shit. Take that off before somebody sees you. But you're packing one just like it. What's going on? You're not coming. Fully invisible. Yep. Oh, she's flying. Uh, huh? Island approach, India Golf Niner Niner checking in. <laughs> niner Niner. <laughs> India Golf Niner Niner requesting vectors to the initial. Over. You're overreacting. Everything's fine. They're just. All getting coffee. <laughs> well, how about that? You, sir, truly are Mr. Incredible. All right, who did you contact? Contact. Ooh. Uh, give him the business now. <laughs> I'll send them a little greeting. Oh, Violet, it's not my fault. Oh, boy. No, I snuck aboard. Of course we got a sitter. Do you think I totally you're just... Who'd you get? You don't have to worry about one single thing, Mrs. Farr. I've... You know, I wish my parents played Mozart when I slept because half the time I don't even know what the heck anyone's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Disengage, repeat. Disengage. Oh, sending out those flares. Yep. <laughs> uh, let this be a lesson. Always wear your seatbelts on the plane. Mm. Leading cause of injury is people flying up and hitting the overhead cabin during turbulence. Uh, abort! There are children aboard. Say again, there are children aboard. No! Put a field around us now! Don't that big do it! Come on! <laughs> Come on! Do it now! <laughs> Oh, no. whoa, bro, hit the plane with the missiles? Oh, and she's KO'd. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Brace yourselves! I don't think it's Jodie Foster. It almost sounds like a Holly Hunter a little bit. Mm. Remember Raising Arizona? Oh, yeah. Target. Was destroyed. Ah, uh, you'll get over it. Release me! Now! I'll crush her. Yeah, that sounds a little dark for you. <laughs> Show me! He knows Ooh. he can't do it. Calling his bluff. You're weak! And I've outgrown you. Oh, your Dear. boss isn't the person you mm. thought he was. Assistants have you second just thoughts. Have, that's what I always get in movies, like how the assistants, don't they know that they're nothing to their boss, no matter what they do? Mm -hmm. sure. What is... Oh, he's uh, kicking his feet! <laughs> she's a bull. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, yeah. that's creative. Ugh. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Mom. I think your father is in trouble, and that means you're in charge until I get back, Violet. Your identity is your most valuable possession. Keep each other safe. I'll be back by morning. Mom, what happened on the plane? I'm, I'm sorry. It wasn't fair for me to suddenly ask so much of you. 
You have more power than you realize. Don't think. Hmm. And don't worry. If the time comes, you'll know what to do. She's going to have a big moment. Oh, I feel like, yeah, I feel like we're going to get that. Boom. Putting the mask on. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. I'm <laughs> sad to stay hidden. I'm not gonna leave the cave. Cool. <laughs> Wow. Huh? What? Uh, I didn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Let loose some chaos here. Identification, please. Hey, there, that one. Voice key incorrect. What are we doing? Choose one alert. Oh boy, here we go. Somebody had a change of heart. There isn't much time. No, there isn't. Why are you here? Family survived the crash. That got dark for a minute too, but yeah. I guess he felt like everything was gone. Yeah. Oh, now he's gonna get busted. Hello. You must be Mr. Sinclair. <laughs> He's helping me to escape. Let go, you lazy, lying, unfaithful creep. How could I betray the perfect woman? Oh, you're referring to me now? <laughs> <laughs> you think they're supers? Dash, remember what Mom said. Hold it, free! Dash, run! They're supers! Get the boy! So we don't know how fast he can really run, do we? No, we haven't seen full <laughs> speed. God, does this animation feel like it's 20 years old to you? No. No, especially not compared to other stuff we saw from, you know, relatively close this to the same time to, area. This had to feel so far ahead of its yeah, time. They really amped it up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah! Uh -oh. He's skimming! He's skimming! <laughs> now we're seeing how fast he can go. I should have told you I was fired, I admit it. I keep trying to pick a fight, but I'm still just happy you're alive. I know you're there, little Miss Disappear. <laughs> Got him! You can't hide from me. There you are. Oh, oh she yeah. did it! Whatever you do, don't stop. Oh, he's no. gonna run with it. It's like a hamster ball, <laughs> gerbil uh, ball. You're all right. Oh, you're all right. <laughs> oh, these guys are done for. Now we gotta deal with all four of them. There you go. There they are. Time out. Uh, the ship's unique design suggests well, there were no. The robot will emerge dramatically. Syndrome will save the day. I'll be a bigger hero than you the ever were. Dude, is this whole set plan. up to be a hero? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll sell my invention so that everyone can be superhero. And when everyone's super, <laughs> nobody, no one will be. This is my fault. I've been a lousy father, so obsessed with being undervalued that I undervalued all of you. Dash, don't interrupt. Caught up in the past that I, I... <laughs> you are my greatest adventure, and I almost missed it. I think it's time we wind down now. Every time they run, he 
take the shot. Yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Drinking games. Great. Uh, I can't fly, Rock. Use the coordinates from the last launch. I bet Syndrome's changed the password by now. How do I get into the computer? Save me, please. Ah, look who's coming through. <laughs> Where's my super suit? What? Where is my... <laughs> and now it's uh, like, <laughs> like just a seven old Jacks. Yeah. Someone needs to teach this hunk of metal a few manners. <laughs> it's all set up. <laughs> Jesus. Uh-oh. Oh, see, it's learning. Mm-hmm. That's what they're worried oh, about. Oh, I gonna, forgot. Oh, yeah. It learns. It's he gonna, forgot about that. Oh, no. Gonna get out of hand now. <laughs> <laughs> She's got the, the RV or the van. Now! <laughs> <laughs> <Just> <laughs> oh, some Dukes of Hazard stuff right there. Traction Avenue. That'll take me downtown. I take seven, don't I? Right. We missed it. You asked me how to get there, and I told you. He's coming up. Get in the right lane. Traction. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's gonna take me downtown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just standing on it. Super duper, Dad. <laughs> Let's do that again. Jesus. <laughs> Wait here and stay hidden. I'm going in. I watch helplessly from the sidelines. I don't think so. I'm asking you to wait. You're my husband. It's I'm with take you. Take all of you. Or better or worse. I'm not strong enough. Strong enough, and this will make you strong. Yes. No. That's what this is. Some sort of workout. I can't lose you again. I'm not. Crawling enough. There we go. All right. If we work together, you yep. won't have to be. Let's oh. go. <laughs> well. Go. Oh, oh, oh dude, do that. Alice. Oh. Down. There we yeah, go. Right. <laughs> Oh, just lost another arm. Yep. Throw it, throw it. <laughs> Real long. Oh, he did. Right across the water. Oh, he's got it. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Oh, oh put nice. it down. A remote? A remote that controls what? The robot? <laughs> <laughs> the only thing hard enough to penetrate it is itself. 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 Yep. Stay closer. Boom. Here we go. Oh, oh. right through the brains. Took off the CPU. Boom. Minimal damage to the city, huh? too. No, that's the way to do it. That's old school. They've frozen all of Syndrome's assets. If he even sneezes, we'll be there with a hanky and a pair of handcuffs. Does this mean we can come out of hiding? We'll let the politicians figure that one out. <laughs> replacement? I didn't call a replacement. Oh, no. We know who that is. Oh. He's getting away from him. If he does it, he should do something now. Oh! No! Oh! 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 Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 capes. Don't wear capes. Don't, capes. don't wear capes. Everything is all right. <laughs> 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 don't look down. <laughs> oh. 
That's my girl. Yeah. Does this mean we have to move again? Oh, the house <laughs> is 9 to 86. <laughs> That's <laughs> 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 big wheel. <laughs> I always thought it was more about hey. the. Hey, you look different. I feel different. Is different okay? Hey, <clears throat> different is great. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. do, do you think maybe you and yeah. I. Could... I like movies. I'll buy the popcorn. So, Friday? Friday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my nice. Oh, yeah. nice. No, it was just no, the, uh, just the other credits. Wow, with the uh, it was, it was just the. Well, this was 2004. Yeah, it's, it's, so it just showed the light getting turned off. At yeah. Pixar, right? Well, first off, you know, we watched a number of uh, animated films from, I think, roughly around this area uh, here pretty recently in the last year on the channel or so. And I, I don't, you guys will have to help me out in the comments a little bit, but when The Incredibles came out, did it kind of wow everybody with how good the the graphics and animation was? Because this seems to me to be a real big step up from other things that we had seen. And I'm just wondering if that was kind of the big draw with it because it, it looked fantastic. Uh, had a great story. This one was a lot of fun. The, the way they worked in the music, it really reminded me of like an older Bond villain. And I don't know if it'll make the cut. I think I said it a few times, but uh, you know, Syndrome's Lair had that classic villain Bond type theme where you're like, eh, you know, I think we asked, well, how did they build all this stuff? Where <laughs> the contractors from to make it? You know, the, the kind of tongue in cheek questions you ask yourself a little bit when you're watching to create this massive uh, secret hideaway on an island is always interesting. But it had all the classic themes of a superhero villain type movie that you want. I liked how, of course, the whole family came together at the end. And I liked how they showed everybody getting their moment with their superpowers a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, they didn't overdo it, I don't think, because the movie definitely left plenty of meat on the bone for sequels, which obviously we know that there are some upcoming sequels that we got planned to, of course, do them here on the channel. But I thought it was a really, really good introduction into the world of, of The Incredibles. Uh, I thought they gave us just enough to kind of whet your appetite a little bit and want to see more out of these characters. So it, it was a lot of fun. And, you know, they had some interesting uh, moments in there about, you know, Dash having to hold back in the beginning and, you know, having to hide who they are and what they're truly capable of. Um, you could tell that Violet was very shy and didn't want to come out of her shell. And they, they even show that visually where, you know, she kind of had the hair hanging, you know, kind of covering one of her eyes showing how she was she was very reserved and shy and then it's like once they embraced their superpowers a little bit now they didn't necessarily have to completely show them off and as we saw in the end dash you know he took second place and <laughs> try to love that i think he should have got first he just should have made it close but that's that's me being a little <laughs> selfish i guess but no I, I really liked how the the family using their superpowers really put them in a better place and you know, made everybody happier and let them be who they truly are. And we saw that right away with uh, Mr. Incredible, how his whole attitude changed. They did that little, uh, that little, um, little sequence montage. in the beginning, a little montage in the beginning when he was, you know, going and fighting crime and he was coming back and everything was good with the family and he was happy and in a better mood and everything. Cause we saw in the beginning when he was not being who he truly was, he oh, was just, it was you know, not moping a, yeah. and slow. It just didn't seem to have any any life in him at all. But that all changed when he got to be who he was. So I think you can obviously, you know, take the message there of like, look, uh, on one hand, they call it work for a reason, right? Yeah. If, if everybody got to do, 
you know, uh, these amazing, wonderful jobs. Well, they probably wouldn't pay you for it because everybody would want to <laughs> do it. But uh, it's it's you know, sometimes you got to trudge through for a, a higher goal that you want to reach. But that doesn't mean that you can't have other things on the outside, uh, hobbies, interests, whatever it might be, that kind of fulfill you and make you happy and give you what Mr. Incredible was after. So I, I really liked that in there. And uh, yeah, I just thought it was a great introduction to to the whole world of the Incredibles. Of course, having Sam Jackson in there was great. Yep. Uh, as soon as they were in the in the firehouse or in the house that was on fire, not the firehouse, uh, and Sam Jackson's character uh, Frozo was was screaming a little Frozo. bit. If there was any doubt that it was <laughs> Sam Jackson, you knew at that moment when when he was letting it rip a little bit, and like ah, that's the that's the Sam we all know and love. But so a lot of fun, great casting. I thought uh, Craig T. Nelson did a great mm. job as Mr. Incredible. Somebody who I don't know if he gets enough accolades for just how good he is and kind of has a voice that while it's somewhat recognizable, I don't think at first, you know, your first time through, you might not catch it right away. So again, uh, really fun all around. And and this one was a blast. We had a lot of fun with this. I, I can't wait to do the others. Yeah. Like I... Like I said, I'd seen bits and pieces of this while watching my friend's kids while it was on. And, yeah, I was so happy to actually sit down and actually watch this because this is freaking hilarious. I had so much fun watching this. It's a great and interesting development right away in the beginning when he's saving all these people's lives and then they start suing him. Yep. <laughs> and so they kind of take him down a peg and so that all the heroes are forced into hiding, which, you know, what happened to all the super villains and too because you think they would still be out there doing what they got to do but apparently for 15 years they went into hiding as well so then he had to see that you know bob just not not enjoying life as insurance no. but yet in his own way you know still still helping out people you yeah know, tell him, hey what i wouldn't tell you to do is to go to this floor and yeah. say make this complaint at this time to this person much of the chagrin of our boy uh wallace sean as uh gilbert was that hoop uh, for his name huff, for it yeah. or huff inconceivable he but, huff, yeah. yeah so but our our main and yes of course from uh princess diaries but uh, princess bride. Bride. i always i always say diaries for some stupid reason but yeah princess bride princess bride princess bride <laughs> i digress but yeah so it was fun to see like that was the whole meaning of it and then it you just knew that he needed to get back into the swing of things because that's what was missing from his life and like you saw he was like on autopilot as be even being a dad he's too busy reading the newspaper not paying attention to the kids not really helping out with with uh, his wife and then you know he he gets into a few few cases back at it there he is and he's he's back to his old self you know like getting going from a 50 inch plus waist down to a 36 i mean that's i mean that's not bad not bad at all but in the dynamic then with the family that they all had their powers and they just weren't yet sure yet what Jack Jack had. So you had Dash, you had Violet, who was older, but yet since she must have like she has the tougher powers to try and hone in, right? Yep. If you're gonna be fast, you can be fast. You just have to run really fast. Violet, you know, with invisible and then generate force fields, it's not exactly like boom, oh, this is so easy to do it. You really have to concentrate. Yep. So it was fun then getting that amazing shot where all four of them in the are in the jungle like this on the island ready to ready to fight and so that was really cool and then jason lee as the as syndrome or a credible boy as he tried to be earlier on i thought that was a really good really good casting as well because jason lee at that time was pretty popular at that point with i, I think my name is earl uh, my name is early like, yeah come out oh, i mean he's always been popular but he's always yeah. been pretty pretty good but Yep, a little more yeah. in limelight other than just mall rats and, you know, dogma <laughs> and stuff. But but all in all, yeah, I had a lot of fun watching this. The animation was really good. Even It still holds up pretty good now. Oh, absolutely for being, it does. For being 20 years old. Yeah. So, I mean, we can you let us know in the comments, like, how long did it take for them to develop this? Because I'm betting it took a long time. Because back in that day, I mean... Even now with like movies like Spider-Man, it still takes like four or five yeah. years to really get it done and get it done right. But yeah, this was a lot of fun. Yeah, and I, I liked how they weren't afraid to amp up the level of violence a little bit to have some danger there. I liked that they didn't mm -hmm. shy away from that. Yeah, especially with the speech that she had where she was like, hey, we watch the cartoons on Saturday mornings. Well, this isn't like yeah. that. They actually will yeah, go up. I like that. They weren't afraid of that. Yeah. Goldworth's animation here. I'm curious as to um, uh, right there. Yeah. 
Uh, brought up a core group. Iron oh, yeah, Giant. and we did look at uh, Brad Bird. Yes, he was a writer and director on Iron, Iron Giant, Giant. That's Ratatouille. That makes and, sense. Uh, and then he actually uh, did one. He was a director of one of the Mission Impossibles. <laughs> <Make it transition. laughs> so he's got, yeah, he's got a, jump. yeah, he's got, and then he was the voice of Edna as well. <laughs> oh, of course. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So th this was so much fun. And it, it it just feels a, a lot different than some of the other animated films we've watched. And, and I feel like we're getting into so many different kinds of animated films. Um, and, you know, we, we try to make these benchmarks for what makes a great animated film. And uh, I just feel like it's, you know, there's there's different um, kind of different benchmarks. And this one is 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 right here. But for a lot of different reasons, look, I, I, I got a little choked up at one point in the movie um it, to which i'll get to but other than that that was that was kind of it you mm -hmm. know um you guys bring up a really good point um i was a little and i'm not sure i if it'll make the cut i said it a few times like it's a little a little heavy for uh, <laughs> an animated film but it does bring up a sense of of real danger like there's a there's a sense of urgency there and if you feel like the bad guys kind of just can't be all the time um you know it kind of throws off the sense of urgency you know you get like if you get some animated film where the bad guy's gonna bonk you on the head right. or you know and <laughs> like uh you know wily e. coyote and you're gonna fall and get smashed and whoa you got the stars and the question marks going over your head it you know it kind of takes away that sense of that sense of danger and, and urgency in the action that you need to take to fix the problem but it did feel like almost i don't, I don't want to say dark but almost like a little like wow he's you know Mom's out there trying to like, you know, call off the missile attack and dad's there panicking. And you know, the guy's like, oh, you know, like keep them going. So there was uh, there was definitely a different feel to this. It felt um, like, you know, it felt like that it had a really great amount of action. Uh, the animation was done good. You know, it felt kind of like, um, I don't want to say, you know, almost like a like a true lies type thing. Because you, know, <laughs> you have oh, good, yeah. good old Harry Tasker, who was, you know, the agent who's now, yep. you know. Uh, but I guess that was a little different because he was always like the CIA guy who was like masquerading as a, you know, as a computer salesman where this was, you know, all about the the former superheroes. But, you know, I think this movie um, on the on the surface, it's just a fun, you know, action movie about, you know, families and stuff like that. But I think you can this is one where I really feel like, you know, you can pe peel off a lot of layers for this, um, you, you know, this film that people experience in real life. Um, you know, when you when you're when you're a younger couple and, and dating and just going out and living and traveling and doing all this exciting stuff, there's a certain like uh just a certain like rhythm you get into as far as life you go and do what you want when you want to do it you kind of you know you live for each other but you live relatively carefree and when you have kids when i say everything changes everything changes and look when obviously you know kids are, are an amazing joy but there's a lifestyle that you get used to that gets put on the shelf and you know, any parent would be lying if they said that they never missed that a little bit. Not like that's what you want as opposed to what you have, but just like that freedom, that lifestyle, that adventure, you know, those those things that you did as a couple. And I think it's easy for a lot of parents um, just, you know, not, not pointing fingers at all because it's life like to get in this like day to day rhythm where this is the routine. This is what we do. And, uh, you know because you have those responsibilities a lot of times you know you you don't look for those things that kind of light a fire inside of you and we saw bob doing that you know even <laughs> just kind of on a very low yep. low wednesday key, with you know. uh frozo yeah going bowling yeah instead of going bowling um you know um mom elastigirl wasn't really um wasn't really doing much of her own thing she was like super in mom mode and, you know, I, I don't know if, you know, I'm certainly not going to say that the, the guys are out there, you know, trying to relive their glory days more than the moms. I feel like, you know, uh, there's a maternal instinct that that can maybe shift that a little bit. But, you know, I thought that was I thought that was really interesting. Um, you know, lessons with the kid, um, you know, Vi, you know, kind of shy and stuff like that. And you saw the mom like when she, you know, was was working on the um, 
the the force field just kind of encouraging it like i know you'll do it i know you can do your best she wasn't quite sure where she fit in you know turning invisible and be able to create a force field a little bit weird of a superpower where dashes was more like the, the yep. you know yeah. you can, traditional you can run yeah. you can run fast yep. you know something he was excited about um oh, who wouldn't be you know when it was it's interesting tacks. because you saw like i don't know i think there's lessons here about encouraging your kids just at what they're good at mm -hmm. you know um you know uh the the daughter got um you know when she started you could see the confidence build right find something you're good at and i think with kids it's like you know so many kids are good at so many different things and it's as a parent like i got to imagine you know uh, you know my guy's you know pretty young so we're not you know exploring yeah, he can squat pretty he's, good already. he's really talented at but you know as your kids get older Every day is you know, like there's certain things parents are into and kids are going to be into different things and i think you know this movie was kind of about encouraging what they're good at of course at the end of the movie we saw violet really come out of her shell mm -hmm. you know we saw yep. more confidence there with um you know with with dash you know obviously they they let him go out and do what he was good at even if he you know, even, point. If, even if they had to, <laughs> if, even if they had to rope it in a little bit i thought um i thought that was that was really cool um i thought we saw the, the you know the parents especially at the end or in the, in the beginning we saw them you know, hey we're a team so there was disagreements there was fights and stuff like that but um you know they were you know they were showing their kids they were they were on the same team which i think is important for parents so i feel like this movie had like a lot of late you, can, you lot. can watch it you can enjoy this movie incredibly superficially incredibly superficially yeah. but i feel like there was a, a lot of things that um you know that this this taught um you know with the superheroes and then with dash and stuff um and of and of course with our uh with syndrome um a lot of times we see people who resent others with talent um, resent other people who have skills that we don't and I think that's a sad thing too I mean I've, look jealousy and and resentment and um, and envy are, are real things but when you see somebody who's got a really great talent it's just like be happy for other people who have talents mm -hmm. encourage other people's talents um, even if it's something that 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 you don't have I think there's a strong message there and the, the last thing I'm gonna say as a dad, like the, the one part where um, I didn't feel like this was a movie that I was gonna get choked up in, and I, I didn't really, except for the one part. I mean, obviously when he thought his, his family was getting taken out, like that was tough. But when, when they were all chained up and he said his family is his greatest adventure, that hit, that hit really hard because like, th look, the three of us, we've all done, mm -hmm. we've all done a lot in our lives. I don't think, I don't, these guys were, professional wrestlers yeah. you know i mean i went off i was doing fighting i was doing bodybuilding you know I was, I was traveling the globe and doing all this stuff when i was single and i can look back on those times in my lives and and think like wow like i i, I had it right like i did some really cool stuff and none of that there's not a single moment of any of that that the sports the the whatever the traveling the none of it compares to what I have now with my three and a half year old son. None of it, not not a single moment of it. Of course, it's easy to look back on that stuff. Oh, I was doing this, I was doing that. Well, but when you sit back, yep. when he says family was his greatest adventure, that is a thousand percent true. And that's the thing that hit me the hardest because as a parent, as a guy, and I'm sure for the women out there, there's times like, oh, this is what I was doing. And it's easy to look back on your your glory years, you know, and living in the past. But when you've got when you've got a family, like that's that's as good as it gets. Yeah, and I think the important thing to note on that too is it's I think it's one thing to naturally move on from a stage in your life where you go from, you know, going on adventures and doing things like that to progressing into a family. The thing with Mr. Incredible is that it was taken from him. It yeah, was taken yeah, from him earlier. Yeah, the things that true. he did and he liked to do that got taken. I mean, he was, yeah. And he then was, he did move on yeah. to the family, but he's like, oh man, like I was, he was still prime. excited. That's a really, that's he, a was, really he was you, still excited, you know, yeah, you, getting married and everything. But yeah, like, yeah, so equate that to like a professional athlete getting injured and having their career taken. Yeah. Taken from retire. Yeah, you bring up a really good point. But there's, I think there's two ways you could, yeah. That, you but know? Uh, a, yeah. a phenomenal yeah. film. Yeah. Uh, boards are all over there. Boards near me. You got two over there. How many boards do you need? Got all the boards. Okay. Where's my marker? Where's that marker? But yeah, this one was great. I am looking forward to the 
rest of these movies, this one was incredibly successful. Huh. And Unintended? Absolutely. Incredible and successful. Incredibly. Sorry. Yep. Uh, yeah, it was great. It was fun. Uh, again, to compare it to the other animated movies that we've done, I've, I've tried, as Oak was saying, I've kind of tried to get away from that a little bit because I don't know if it's fair to compare something you know like this to a real tearjerker like a coco or a how to train your dragon 2 sort of thing so i think we've kind of gotten away from comparing a little bit and just kind of looking at each movie on its own merit and how we felt it stands out from entertainment value yeah so for me this is a 4.75 out of five answers nearly perfect um it did get a little bit slow there in the middle i'm not sure if it needed to be the full almost two hours but what i did love about this is that it wet your appetite for more movies so i can't wait to see the rest yeah i had a lot of fun watching this one like i said craig t nelson was perfect in the casting of a dad and who's also a superhero with that vo bolsterous voice of his as we all know him from coach hayden fox i give it 489 or 485 out of five and I am definitely ready, willing, and able, and looking forward to the second one because I think that's going to be just as much fun, if not more. Yeah. Because I, I want to see more Jack Jack. I, I thought this was a phenomenal movie, and this is one of the animated films that I'm actually going to I'm, I'm going to rate um, based on a little bit more analytical than I guess I normally do. Normally with animated films, I kind of just go off gut, and for this one, I felt the animation for 04 was incredible, the story was incredible, the lessons were incredible, uh, the casting I think was phenomenal. So um, for me, this is this was a five, and it's it's more. It, look, it did it did it hit me as hard as some of the other films. It it didn't, um, but I enjoyed it, and I think right. when I'm like this is more of an actual analytical mm -hmm. five. And the, the last thing that I am gonna say is that I'd be remiss if I uh, if I watched this movie and, and didn't bring it up. There was a uh, there was a, a bodybuilder, and this was this was pre social media, so there's pictures of him online, but uh, it was before Instagram and and Facebook and stuff. His name was Andy Hammond, H A M A N. Um, Andy and I didn't always see eye to eye on stuff, but he looked like Mr. Incredible. He had the blonde hair. He was a, uh, an incredibly looking, good looking guy. Huge muscles. He was a pro bodybuilder. Um, he was a little older, um, but Andy would. Um, Andy would dress up as Mr. Incredible. He got like to a T Mr. Incredible mm -hmm. costume and he would go to, um, now I'm really getting choked up. Uh, Andy would go to children's hospitals and stuff dressed as Mr. Incredible. Um, he didn't need any, uh, he didn't need any foam muscles or anything like that. And so um, when I see Mr. Incredible or, or anything like that, like I said, Andy and I weren't the best of friends or anything like that, but he was a really solid guy. He passed a handful of years ago. And uh, I think it's really cool to see that you had this movie with this superhero and you had somebody that, you know, I was blessed enough to know at least a, a very little bit um, that would dress up as Mr. Incredible and go out and be, you know, a real life superhero for kids and stuff like that. So I just thought right. that was worth uh, a mention because Mr. Incredible was uh, was Andy's thing. So right. um, a, five, a awesome. five for me, a very well done movie. Very and good. I'm good. really excited for the next one. All right. We cannot wait to watch that second one with you guys. So for Eplin Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, Answer. We'll catch you on the next Incredibles, pals.